Look at his career bio. Fred Haskins Award back in 2020. Just the fifth player ever to win the Haskins Award, the Ben Hogan Award, and the Jack Nicholas Award in the same season. Earned his PGA Tour card for 2021, 2022. And as we saw, held that solo 54 hole lead at the 2022 WM Phoenix Open, finishing in a tie for third. And Sahith is down with our own Todd Lewis. Yeah, first player's appearance, and he is freshly shaven. He's got a clean look as he tackles the stadium course for the first time. You've never played here. You played your practice round and saw this course for the very first time this week. What yeah. were your impressions? Honestly, the first thing, uh, Todd, when I got to this course was just like how cool it is that I'm even here. <laughs> I was like, I'm playing the Players' Championship. So re really, really cool. And the course is in fantastic shape. I, I think a lot of the guys are saying the same thing. And um, Obviously, I'm getting my first taste of it, but it's a course that I feel like really suits my game. And I think a lot of, a lot of players also say that too. So obviously, a really great test of golf. And um, I think as it should be for our, our flagship event. Why does it suit your game? Um, I feel like you could you could play it so many different ways. Uh, there's certain golf courses that you have to play it a certain way. I feel like you have to hit a certain shot shape, or um, you know, have to hit a long ball, or have to hit straight. But I feel like it, it kind of brings in all kinds of golfers because um, there's certainly a lot of demanding shots, but there's also I feel like plenty of holes where you can can really take advantage of it. I want to go back to Phoenix. Um, we we were talking before we came on the air, and you said, "Wow, I, it, it's still." I, I, it still stings a bit. I guess yeah. It's still emotional for you. Yeah, yeah. What, what, what are you carrying from Phoenix? Yeah. Um, obviously, I just saw my shot in 17 <laughs> again, and it, it still hurts. It still hurts. But um, obviously, gained so much confidence from the week, and um, knowing that you know all the work that I've put in, and my team has helped me get to this point, and seeing that like if I'm playing to the best of my ability, I can I can really hang with some of those those big guys up there, and. Um, especially being in that situation twice already this year, it's, it's given me so much confidence and also made me really hungry to kind of put myself back in that back in that position. Is there anything you hope to do differently if you're put in that situation again? So I, I think I, I at Phoenix, I really handled myself well. Uh, like I, I just didn't have my, my best that weekend there. And, and I feel like I got a lot out of uh, my game there, scored really well. But, um, you know, I think if I'm in that position again, and, and I tried to do this at Phoenix, is, is just take a little bit of an extra breath, just that one extra breath. I don't remember Speed saying that as well at, at, at Augusta, but yeah, just, just slowing down a touch more. There's just a couple shots where I got a little bit ahead of myself, and Carl McCaddy does a great job of reminding me to slow down. But yeah, I think if I'm in that position again, I'll, I'll handle it better. Because it's interesting, because you have been such an, or you were such an accomplished amateur. I, 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 we in the media, maybe sure. fans, were expecting you to come back, come out and make an, an immediate impact, maybe win on tour quickly, as Colin Marikawa did coming out of Cal. Yeah. What were your expectations coming out of college to the PGA Tour? Yeah, you know what? I don't know if a lot of people know, but I got I had a pretty serious wrist injury my end of my junior year of college, so I had to take almost a full year off. And mm -hmm. at that point, it kind of gave me a new perspective on golf and life. Like, hey, I'm, I'm just really blessed to be able to play golf and <laughs> why not try and make the most out of it and play it for a living and uh yeah i had definitely um tried to keep as much expectations as possible i was just really happy that i was healthy and i think with that mindset change and work with my swing coach rick hunter all of a sudden i was playing the best golf of my life this last 18 months so it's been really cool and i think people forget how how impressive guys like colin victor and, and matt have been even sam burns like yep. having this kind of success straight out of college i mean that's a really hard thing to do and um, but it's really cool to see that, to kind of know, like, hey, these guys did it and obviously have a little ways to go to, to reach their level, but I feel like pretty close. I'm going to go back to Phoenix. Uh, after you signed your card, you just missed the playoff with Patrick Cantley and Scotty Scheffler, who was yeah. the eventual champion. Uh -huh. And we showed this video. You came out of scoring. Uh, you saw your family. You embraced yeah. them. You, you were quite emotional. Yeah. What were you releasing at that moment? Yeah. Uh, you know, it was, it was more than golf. Uh, a lot of my buddies text me after saying like, wow, I've never seen you cry in my life. And I'm not, I'm not a too, too emotional of a guy, but it was just kind of a complete release. Um, I think the main thing was just seeing my parents and how they've been so great to me. And, and the fact that I can share this moment with them is really cool. It really didn't have much to do with the actual, I mean, okay, it stings, but like the actual outcome of the golf, I can live with it. But to know that I have my family and my friends kind of supporting me and, and having my back, I think that's the biggest thing. And, and, and gaining all the, all the fans that week is just knowing that people are be behind me is, is really, really cool. Not necessarily looking uh, on a micro level for this week, but from a macro level for the rest of the year. Yeah. What do you feel like are your strengths in your yeah. game? 
What do you want to improve? Yeah, I think uh, the strengths of my game or my short game kind of always been my whole life. You know, I, I've kind of got a homegrown swing. Me and my swing coach are Connor. Don't try and change it too much because I just I love working the ball and all that. But get it gets me in some sticky positions sometimes. So my short game's always kind of bailed me out, and I've really been hitting the ball better. And I think that's that's why I've been playing better as well, and the results have been showing. So. Um, as long as I can keep the ball in the fairway, I, I like my chances the rest of the year. Final thing, so you can go out and practice a little more in your preparation for the players. We were talking prior, and you said that, yes, as he has done for many, Tiger Woods has inspired you. Yeah. He is, he's getting inducted into the World Golf Hall of yeah. Fame tonight. How impactful has he been in yeah. your development and to the game in general? Really, really big. I mean, he's the reason I shoot him and, and Kobe Bryant were the reasons I played sports in general. And... I don't think any player or the PGA Tour can thank him enough for the impact he's had on the game of golf. And just a quick little Tiger story from Riv. He, uh, my buddy Aaron Beverly got the Charlie Sifford exemption, and he teed off first. And I was just eating breakfast right after that, and Tiger came up. I've never met Tiger, and just gave me a hug. And he was like, "Dude, great job last week!" Like, and that meant the world to me. It was like I, I was shaking. I was so nervous. I couldn't believe he he came up to me and said that. So even something small like that, and I feel like. He's been such a great ambassador, and uh, it's just been cool to see him, you know, enjoy life with his kids and and being so good for the game of golf. But, yeah, can't speak on on how big of an impact Tiger. Wow, so. what a special moment. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah, hey, I wish you all the best this week. Is it, thank Thanks, you for son. spending some time with us. Yeah, absolutely. Thank right. you. Excited to be here.